React India. So thank you very much. Hope I'm audible to everybody. So hello all. Um, before I introduce myself and get into my topic briefly, I just wanted to start with a short story. Uh, I was like yesterday night itself, we were preparing a game. I guess most of you have visited the EPAM booth. So it's we have created a game with Gen AI in just two or three hours. That's the power of Gen AI, for, first of all, which I wanted to tell you. Uh, and uh, I was like kind of, when I woke up, it's like I was excited plus nervous as well. This is my first ever stage talk. I have done a lot of community talks, but doing first time, it's like little different, like it's, it's a different presence altogether. So I was a little nervous. And then I saw this on the, uh, my room kind of motivated me, so I wanted to share with you all. I mean, it was pretty good, kind of gives me a good vibe to start the day. So, yeah, here I am. So, if I can move forward, yeah. So, my name is Ashish Yadav. I am a solution architect working in APAM systems. I am, I am a kind of full stack engineer in JS framework, plus uh, React Native Flutter and done a lot of done work on Kubernetes, Docker, and cloud systems. Um, this is my LinkedIn QR code. If anybody was interested, just you can just scan it. Uh, so over to the topic now. So I guess there are a lot of talks about uh, in different sessions that you have already seen that what is the power of Gen AI, right? Everybody's talking about it, it's buzzword. And similar to that in EPAM as well, we kind of already pre-adopted of that. We build a uh, kind of a practice around it. Uh, so I'm kind of heading that practice. And there are a lot of projects that we've done internally and for the customers as well. So I'm what I'm going to do is like show you some of the demos that's kind of a use cases which we have finished. Uh, we have a lot more, but due to shortage of time, I'm just going to present three of them. And also a few of the customer stories as well uh, after this, which is kind of just gives you an idea of what in the enterprise world, in the different domains, how you can kind of utilize this uh, power of React and Gen A altogether. So the first one, which I wanted to give you a short overview, is MetaHuman. A uh, few of you which have visited the booth already have saw that demo live. So it's kind of a Gen A assistant which we have prepared. It's completely on Unreal Engine right now, but we are currently working on uh, to make it more accessible on the web browsers as well, and so that it can be easily plug and play with the different systems that. Mostly it might be the first use case which we had right now to integrate with their customer support system within an e-commerce e company. So there we are working for it. So it will be a lighter version of it. We already have a chatbot. The way it is already architected is like the API is totally different. I mean, you can just utilize the API to create anything. Uh, so this is only an interface for you. So chatbot is already working with the, the APIs that we have built. But we wanted to make it more kind of an experience for the end user, because chatbot is kind of an old thing that everybody does. So this is going to be very soon, probably next time when we meet up, it might be already be working somewhere in the, some software. So next one, which I wanted to show is the quiz game, which you have might played on the EPAM booth. We have done that game built around in two weeks time. It is a completely Gen AI based game. We are pulling the questions randomly from Gen AI and then kind of putting a timer on top of it and then showcasing it to you. Uh, yeah, that's one of the use case. It's quite cool. Uh, it shows you the power of Gen AI. As I said, last night itself, within two hours, we were able to build a complete application with that. So yeah, I mean, this is pretty good uh, example of how React and AI is kind of gelling up together. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is, yeah, this is completely on uh, the chat GPT. But the earlier one, MetaHuman is completely built on the EPAM LLM. We have created our own LLM system. So that is all reading through our LLM system. That is a 2021 model. I think similar to what ChatGPT GPT has right on. OK, over to the third one, just the one more example to showcase you the power of AI. Uh, this is a kind of a tool which we have created, AI Assistant for fashion shopping. Uh, you can just place out any text. It will find out create an image based on that. So this is one of the examples you can see, see in the demo. Uh, we are currently working with one of the client for this. Uh, but it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, we have seen how 
different companies that are opting to auto generate images from the text and everything and i think one of the use cases which fits very well is shopping where you want to find out something really cool but you couldn't find it you have to scroll a lot but why don't you use the power of ai with this so yeah that's the one uh, so over to the so these are few examples which i wanted to put uh, across you we are doing lot of more other use cases we have built around lot of back end tools as well but since it's more about react so we are just showcasing you something more of react right on okay so over to the customer stories uh the first one which i wanted to talk about was digital twin uh it's pretty kind of uh i would say innovative area uh digital twin itself is quite innovative and then when you when you want to put a power of vr and gen ai all this thing piece of together in a in, in a system like this it becomes very interesting so we are working with one of the client that is an oil and gas plant they are kind of built the complete digital twin of their oil and gas plant we are you know kind of using gen ai to train their people uh, do their certifications and do lot of you know problem solving so as soon as some error occurs it gives them the solutions using gen ai so that is one of the areas that right now we are working in there are other uh, areas as well with the digital twinning like the pharmaceuticals the lot of companies which where they just clone the complete dnas and everything then we kind of do lot of algorithm on top of it and this is where one of the use cases that we are working on uh e-commerce yes this is the biggest one which definitely i think meta humans definitely fit in here but what we are talking about more of an omni channel support here that you have an online presence plus, plus you are supporting the you know the complete experience remains same when you go to an online and plus an offline store and this is pretty awesome we are working with different platforms like shopify salesforce we are trying to integrate with gen, their gen ai we are trying to put our tool or package whatever we have built in so that it can enhance their complete uh, experience what they are delivering to the customer so this is what we are working on right now and this is the third one uh, platform engineering is pretty much necessary nowadays with the uh, many of the high tech companies which we have seen uh, plat so basically a uh, few of the uh, the currently i was working with one of the client there we are doing uh, the complete test documentation basically you are just going to pro uh, provide your react component and then based on gen ai it will read that component and build the complete test cases around it definitely you need to do some more add on work to it but definitely the boilerplate code is pretty much good like you are finished with the at least basic test is already there so this is what we have already done but we are trying to improve more of the platform tooling like how do you do the ai ops like one of the areas like how do this complete from pr review make it automated so that your gtm is very less plus how do you do the ai ops yeah, like all together when you're going to deploy it and everything how does any problem occurs how can it quickly solve itself other than the manual intervention and this is where the complete platform engineering is getting really interested so i'm i'm pretty much focused on this area because i like it a lot uh, there's so much to do innovations in this area so yeah i mean this is one area which i'm currently looking forward for yeah i mean these were the few customer stories and use cases which i wanted to share with you guys and at the last i just wanted to give you uh, leave on a funny note with one of the images i guess you have already seen way back which i pulled up from twitter uh, i liked it a lot uh, so definitely chat gpt is here but uh, upskill yourself it's not going to you know make any harm to you there are a lot of things that chat gpt does not do so feel free to explore and upskill yourself but it was pretty cool uh, so i just wanted to share this with you uh, i guess that was it uh, you have been a good audience i mean this was our first time so i've been lucky so thanks all